Welcome to the COMC High School Football Coaches Show. Another football season is here. It's presented by the great folks at Central Ozarks Medical Center, where your health is their mission. Also brought to you by Serdike Yamaha, MoDOT, Buckle Up, Phone Down, Hedges Scott Millard Family Chapels, and Slumberland Furniture, Slumberland at the Lake. We're here at Camdenton High School, home of the Lakers. It is our uh, great friend, Coach Parpitz, with us here. Coach, I mean, it kind of surprises me every year when the first football game rolls around. Probably not the same for you because you've been getting ready for this for a few months. Yeah, you know, we, we've been at it uh, most of the summer, and so ho hopefully we have a little bit of uh, uh, protection against that heat and, and because we've been in it most of the summer. So hopefully it'll, it'll pay off. Yeah, we're sitting out here in the hot August heat. We'll probably be ho wishing we had this in October when we come back. So you were eight and three last year, your first year uh, after taking over as head coach here at uh, Camdenton, a very successful first year. Going into year two, does it feel any different, better, worse? Uh, yeah, it's a, we're ahead of where we were uh, last year in terms of um, our communication and our understanding of what we're trying to do and, and uh, sort of the, the shifts that we've made um, from offense, defense, special teams, our conditioning, our strength, all those things. We, um, we're, we're just know what to expect everything's yep. not brand new or or change or, or whatever so it, it's uh it, that that feels a little bit but each year it's a new team so it, it's brand new it's a new group of seniors you yep. know a, a, a new group of underclassmen it's it's one of those things every team is so unique uh that it is a change you know but hopefully people have a better expectation of where we're going what did you lose from last year's team that you're going to miss what do you have coming back this year well, we, we lost some good players in the senior class. We, we lost, um, you know, offensive lineman Carson George, who was an All-Stater. We lost um, uh, Cade, who, who was an All-Stater. Yep. And, and Kyle Edson was All-Stater. But we also lost, a, you know, a ton of, of guys that were outstanding football players. So even though they didn't get that recognition, you know, uh, Spencer Mellencamp, a great leader, Blake Ford. Um, we, we just, you know, Garrett Hilton, guys that are, that are a big part of our, of our program last year, you know, off to, to bright things in the future. And, you know, Garrett's actually playing at Evangel. And, and so he, he came back last week and he's, he's having a good experience there. So um, we lost a ton of good seniors, good leaders um, primarily. And, and so guys got to fill their shoes. Yeah, got to step up. Who are those guys you're looking to step up this year? Well, uh, Carson Dernan is a guy that's kind of stepped in at quarterback and, and has been, played well so far um, during the summer and then through camp this uh, this August. Um, Cole Lane is a returning starter on the offensive line, one of our um, one of our top leaders there. Sterling Cedarwall is back as a as one of our top tacklers. Willard Demott is going to be a guy that's playing on both sides of the ball this year. He played primarily defense uh, last year. Had a great year last yeah, year. Yeah, he did. He, he's a really really good player. Case and Youthy. Uh, as an offensive lineman a year ago and is going to be one of those guys that splits time on both sides of the ball. We think he can help us on defense. Um, and then um, Paul Muff, you know, a guy that came on in the last four games, four or five games last year, um, has had a great year. And he's, he's in that junior class, but uh, guys that are going to step in there, Owen Bourbet is a returning starter on offense. Um, so um, we, we got some guys that can do it. Now we have to go out there and execute. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a whole new conference this year. Whole new look, different teams, different places. We'll talk about that amongst other themes uh, and when we come back on the COMC High School Football Coaches Show. Being close to the water makes you more you. It's where the great unknown brings clarity. And letting go is how you really get going. Because only when you're on a Yamaha Wave Runner do you truly discover what you're made of? Visit Serdak Yamaha at Lake of the Ozarks. 50 years strong. During this chapter of life, we are really taking the time to enjoy the little things. So it was important to have our final wishes pre-planned so our family wouldn't be burdened later on. Hedges Scott Millard made it simple, but thorough. They provided us with different options right here in the comfort of our home. We are so glad that we planned ahead. Now a whole lot more of this, a little of this, all with the peace of mind we wanted. At Hedges Scott Millard, we believe that every day is a gift, and so is every life. Take time to enjoy it. 
Welcome back to the COMC High School Football Coaches Show. We're at Camdenton Lakers getting ready for game one of the season. Uh, and it's a new conference this year. You've got Jeff City. And this Jefferson City team uh, historically has been very good. They've won state championships. Last year they went to the Final Four. Uh, before we start talking specifically about the Jays, how have your off-season workouts been going? Have you been pleased with all of that? We have. We've had uh, we, we've had a bunch of it. You know, in the spring you start, you get. Uh, uh, we took 10 practices in the spring, and then we have almost all of our contact days in the summer where we have team camp, and, and we traveled to Warrensburg to, to play at uh, University of Central Missouri. And, and so, you know, we've had lots of opportunities to, to sort of get prepared, and then, and then camp comes around, and you're like, oh, where did all that preparation right. go? And so, um, but it, it, I, I'm pleased with the, our progress for sure. Yeah. Jefferson City, the Jays. A historically very good program, a lot like Camdenton. Um, they went to the Final Four last year. What uh, what do the Jays like to do? What what do they hang their hat on? Well, they're they're uh, a great tackling, very physical team. Uh, they they do have a new coach. Uh, Eric Thomas is their new coach, but he's one. He's got a state championship on his resume and has been coaching at least Summit uh, for the past uh, 15, 16 years. But uh, he's an alumni. He played for Coach Atkins at uh, at Jeff City, and so he's gonna he's gonna come in there and, and continue to build that legacy. Uh, they they've got some some real good skill guys. Um, we see that uh, they can actually they can throw the ball, run the ball. They can be um, very uh, balanced defensively a very aggressive uh, front and they're going to try to get a little bit of man coverage against us and so we, we know they're going to be a challenge for us yeah absolutely tough and it, it makes it tough when they go from one great coach to another great coach kind of like Camdenton did uh, a couple of years ago so what do you want your guys to do uh, to try to be in control of this one you know we're going to have to be balanced we have to be able to run the ball effectively we got to be able to throw it uh, in most games you've got to be able to stop the running game from the defensive perspective. Um, creating big plays is, is, is huge, and, and that's one of the things that we have uh, have struggled with during the during the preseason. Um, but we're you know we're going to work on that and, and try to get that cleaned up. But uh, big plays and great run defense. Yeah. Okay. So and you'd mentioned uh, a new starting quarterback this year, Carson. Dernan, I believe, right? Yeah. And he's coming off an injury. How's that injury? You know, he's 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 actually uh, faster than he was prior to the injury back in October, and he's worked extremely hard to get himself prepared, and and has had a great preseason so far. Um, good leader, good playmaker, has uh, lots and lots of skill. All right. Now you've been coaching for a while. Uh, do you still get as fired, excited for week one, starting off a new season as always? I do. Uh, probably my focus sometimes gets to, oh my goodness, we have, haven't covered these scenarios or this specific situation. And so I try to get that part of it uh, better than I did when I was young. I would just be so fired up. And, <laughs> and then we get to the game and, oh, we haven't covered onside or, or a hands team or something like that. So I try to get that in. So my it's probably a little bit more of the um, – trying to know what to expect. And then on Friday and even into Thursday, we'll get excited and go give that opportunity to start off the season right. Yeah, and you having played for the Lakers in the past, you can kind of put yourself in the kids' shoes and know what they're feeling too. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were yeah. playing for the, the Camdenton Lakers. Yeah, you know, it, it, it was a long time ago, but I can remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah. Um, I, the first time I got to start on a Friday night, what an experience it was. And we won the game 20, 21-20 against Fulton. So I, wow. I can remember it. Uh, Just like like it was yesterday for sure how about that yeah. all right so the lakers busy against jeff city this week coming up next year on the comc high school football coaches show we're going to head over to osage coach with uh, talk with coach shannon jolly about who they've got this week hey everybody it's daryl cunningham with slumberland furniture at the lake it's hard to believe summer's almost gone and we're starting our labor day sale what's that mean for you your best night's sleep ever at a great price you need to come check out the stearns and fosters we're up to 900 dollars off of adjustable base sets tempur-pedics up to 700 dollars off and the new purples come check those out at up to 800 dollars off you get sale prices and free financing don't forget we deliver the entire lake area come see us at slumberland furniture we're bringing happy home 
It's time for some high school football, season 12 of local high school football on Lake TV. Join William Holtz and Mike Bissell Friday night, August 30th, for the opening game showdown between Osage and Bolivar. Will the Indians be able to get off to a quick start, or will the Liberators play spoiler? Join us for the COMC pregame show at 6.30, kickoff at 7, presented by Polylift Boat Lifts. High school football's opening night, Friday, August 30th, Osage and Bolivar on Lake TV. At COMC, your health is our mission. Central Ozarks Medical Center offers pediatrics at two lake locations and three OBGYNs at the Osage Beach Clinic, offering same-day appointments. At COMC, our doors are open to everyone, whether you live at the lake or just here visiting. COMC for the best medical, dental, and behavioral health care. Get more info on how COMC can help you at centralozarks.org. COMC, where your health is our mission. Welcome back to the uh, Lake TV High School Football Coaches Show. Coach Shannon Jolly with us here as we have come over to the School of the Osage, the home of the Indians. You know, you're one of my favorite guys that I get to see. Uh, it's so good to be able to get back together with you. That's why I like hanging out with you, because not very many people say that. Yeah, so I know I'm, that feeling. I'll take that. Yeah, it's okay. Absolutely. Yeah, and I, now I'm gray, so I make you look even younger and prettier. And Appreciate that. All that stuff. So, uh, so uh, we get ready for week one of the season season, a game on Lake TV Friday night, uh, you're home against Bolivar. You had a really young team last year. Uh, you were dealing with, I think, a sophomore starting quarterback and stuff like that. So do you, does that mean you have a lot of good experience coming back this year? Yeah, I mean, it does. I just think um, we look at our program and the structure of how we do things, and I think our kids are, you know, a year further. Mm -hmm. And what that means is we just, we're more deliberate. I think um, in our jamboree on Friday night, I thought we saw a lot of maturity a lot of positive decision-making skills. Um, we're bigger and we're stronger and faster. So it's just a process of putting it together, but I'm really proud of where we're at. That's fantastic. You know, when you go through those tough years, like last year was a pretty successful year with a lot of youngsters, but you know those guys are going to get some age on them. They're coming back. They're going to be even better. How have the preseason workouts gone for you this year? Oh, the preseason workouts have been amazing. And, and I'm even going back to the offseason. You know, we do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule all throughout the winter, and we just spend an enormous amount of time. I think we had over 50, 50 uh, sessions wow. down here on the field, and that's just strength and conditioning and things like that. But, um, you know, it's, it's been a big buy-in. Uh, we've got 71 kids on the roster this year, which is the most we've ever had, and uh, our coaches are killing it right now. And uh, the, vibe, the vibe down here is really positive and, and really good. I mean, I, again, I'm just super proud of um of what we put together to this point yeah what year is this back at osage is this four this is my fourth year fourth back. year yep. back and what an amazing difference i remember watching a game a game we were doing on lake tv uh, you guys were playing california and you could just see the change happen right before our eyes the strength and conditioning that year and that was the year you went to a district championship yeah. but you could see it all starting to come together for you guys yeah and i think what what you probably didn't watch or remember is that opening kickoff we fumbled the opening kickoff right and california got it and so we talked about that as a staff that was a big turning point for us because instead of it's, instead of being like here we go again it was like no here we go and uh, that group of kids were pretty special cuz they were they had great size, great speed, and they put things together relatively quickly in that year too to kind of, uh, you know, to put a district championship run together. Yeah. And so that's unique in year two. But they did set the tone and kind of show the kids, you know, behind them that, hey, we can get this thing turned around faster than we think. Yeah, absolutely. And it was pretty, I mean, clear as a bell that day. So who are the players that you would like to see step up as team leaders this year? Well, we, we've, we've just got a group of leaders. I don't know if we have any individual guys that I think just need to step up. But, you know, I will brag, and I don't do this very often, you know, about our position group and, and our quarterback. I think Maverick has shown a lot of maturity. You know, you mentioned him being a sophomore last year, but he's got an air about him that's a little bit more, more mature than a normal sophomore. This year, I think he's coming in with uh, not just um, – you know that maturity, but but confidence, yeah, and a little bit of enthusiasm. So he's really uh, he's really taking the responsibility of that position, I think, and I think you'll see a different um, 
you know, quarterback this year for us. Absolutely, as that uh, maturity will do for you. Big difference from being a sophomore and then coming back as a junior. That's Maverick Trusty starting quarterback. And again, you can see that game Friday night, Osage at home against Bolivar. We'll talk about Bolivar when we come back on the COMC High School Football Coaches Show. Wait just a minute, I'm going to send out a quick text. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hey, hon, where are you? You should be here by now. I tried calling and texting. Dad, Ma'am, I regret to inform you that Jason was killed in a car crash today. <laughs> At COMC, your health is our mission. Central Ozarks Medical Center offers pediatrics at two lake locations and three OBGYNs at the Osage Beach Clinic, offering same-day appointments. At COMC, our doors are open to everyone, whether you live at the lake or just here visiting. COMC for the best medical, dental, and behavioral health care. Get more info on how COMC can help you at centralozarks.org. COMC, where your health is our mission. Welcome back to the COMC High School Football Coaches Show. We're here at Osage. The Indians getting ready for a week one showdown here at home against Bolivar. So this Bolivar team, and by the way, you can see that game Friday night on Lake TV. This Bolivar team has been really good in recent years. Uh, they knocked off Camdenton a few years ago. I think went to a district championship last year. This is a pretty good uh, Liberator team. Yeah, you know, when we were searching for games, we had a couple opportunities um, maybe go a different direction. And we just thought that Bolivar was a good fit. First of all, because we're going to have to raise our expectations. Yeah. I think when we moved to class four last year, we found out that it's in, it is a little different. And if you think back to that Warrensburg game that we were in, you know, I was so proud of how our kids played in week 10, but we just weren't there yet. And I think that's part of that is making sure that we're playing opponents that resemble teams like Warrensburg and Jeff City um, because at the end of the year, that's who we're going to be playing. And this Bolivar team is really good. Yeah, they are. But you guys are used to playing pretty good teams. I mean, going back to recent years, uh, you played teams that went to the Final Four last year. You played a Jeff City team and a Blair Oaks team, both, you know, top two or three teams in the state. Uh, and you played them well. You played them hard. You keep doing that with teams like uh, Bolivar. So what does this uh, Liberator team do that you will want to try to stop? Well, they've got some key things. Their guys up front are big and fast. And that's one thing that we don't have is size to our advantage this year. We've got to do some really good things with what we have. But, you know, Tanner Gardner and Ashton Carter and some of those guys on that team that you talked about previously had size and speed and strength. So we're a little bit outmatched up front. Um, and they've got a couple of linebackers that really fly around and make a bunch of tackles. Um, but, but, you know, putting it all together, I think putting the three phases together, our offense and defense and our kicking game, you know, I think it's, I think it's going to be a good contest. But, but make no doubt about it, this is a team, I think, that won over eight games last year. And, uh, you know, they're really talented. Yeah, and so what do you want to do on offense to try to control the pace and all that stuff? Well, it's really just about making sure we find out where their strength is and, and not only necessarily go away from it, but be aware of, okay, where's, they've got a linebacker on the field that had over 200 tackles last year. Dang. And so those are the type of things you got to know where he's at. And if you can strategically position yourself away from him or plays away, then, you know, that's probably prudent to do that as well. Um, but again, it's, it's taking control of the football making sure we have long, sustained drives. And you, I think you'll see this year a little bit of a, a more of a balance on the passing side. We've really worked our butt off since last season in uh, balancing out our passing attack. Yeah, over the years, you've been uh, more of a running coach. You know, I don't know what, 60, 65%, maybe even more than that running, but you're trying to go more to the passing. Is, is it because of a quarterback's abilities to be able to do that, or is that just your changing a little bit of the focus? Well, it's always healthy to be balanced, but I think now we've got some kids that we can balance things out. And you always want to have your run game offense. You want to be able to run the ball defense. You want to be able to stop running. That has to happen first before you expand or add to. Yeah. We always say we're not going to we're not going to add anything till we can give up something. 
So once we've got solid at that part, then we can look at advancing. But this is just a group of kids that have have, uh, have taken it well and they've ran with it a little bit. So we're going to try to balance things out a little bit. Okay, so Osage, Coach Jolly's Indians at home against Bolivar on Friday night. You can see the game right here on Lake TV. Our pregame show starts at 630. You'll see a nice little pregame interview with Coach here and then the uh, kickoff at 7 o'clock. So the uh, high school football coaches show is presented by COMC, Central Ozarks Medical Center. Center where your health is their mission. It's also brought to you by Sir Dyke Yamaha, MoDOT, Buckle Up, Phones Down, Hedges Got, Millard Family Chapels, and Slumberland Furniture, Slumberland at the Lake. Be sure to join us Friday night for high school football. out on your favorite show. Watch Lake TV on demand on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV.